I'm not sure if I'm frozen, so we're gonna take a look at that first, because it looks like I am totally frozen. Okay, I think we're good. Frozen. Okay. I think we're good. Good evening. Good evening. I need to get out of my. Okay. I think we're good. Good evening. Good evening. I need to get out of my. Okay. So I am here tonight to do Q&A on anything you guys want to chat about. Um, I do have a couple of AI things to show you. So let me just start by asking those of you who are on live, uh, what are you currently using AI tools for? How is that working for you? <laughs> and also, what questions do you have about using AI? Hello. Thanks, Michelle. I know I cut like six inches off a couple weeks ago and it's a huge change. Okay, I'm gonna give everyone just a second to ask questions. And if you don't have them, then I'm just gonna jump in and get started with what I have prepared. Thank you. Uh, first and foremost, while we are diving in to um, AI and all of the different things that it can do, one thing I really think about a lot, okay, we have ingredient info posts, AI is super helpful, yes. We're always remember to double check the information you get in there. I know, Nicole, that you were at Shine. I am gonna show you guys how important it is to get your prompt right. Um, I use it for product knowledge and also trying to get, or also trying to general interaction questions. I might have missed that. I use it for product knowledge. Also trying to get general. I use AI for wording ideas. I love that. I would love to learn to have better prompts. So that is exactly where we're gonna start. ChatGPT is um, my most used um, AI tool. I'm gonna be navigating away so that I'm not looking at comments, unless I can get it up here. Let me just see. Um, but have you guys ever heard the quote, a uh, problem written down is a problem half solved. Tell me if you have heard that before. Um, I actually really feel like that is the place where I see chat GPT almost providing the most value to me. Um, Christy says I use it for meal planning, mostly ask questions about strategy. Uh, Don Brady says she has not. I'm going to begin by showing you guys um, a couple of the slides that I had at Shine. So if you were there, this is going to be a little bit of a review um, for you. But I want this is it. It matters. You're you're going to be happy that we went with, with your teams and stuff. So um, we're going to go share my entire screen. Where is that option? Okay. Let me make sure you guys are still seeing my presentation here. Okay. Perfect. Um, so what I want to show you is um, how important the, the questions that you ask are. So I'm going to go ahead and like present this so that you can see it a little bit bigger. But I, and I don't know if you guys remember when we did this last year, but we were pushing to get an ambassador in every state. And I just dropped a list of all of the states we had ambassadors in. And I asked ChatGPT this question right here, which is um, this, uh, which US state is missing from this list? Okay, you would think that would give you, this is the answer I got. The missing US state is Rhode Island. Okay, in this prompt, I said, which US states are missing from this list? And this is what it gave me. So I had gone um, and told the entire field that we were only missing one state, and that is not true. 
right? So this is where, um, you know, in the discussion that we're having in the comments and stuff, it is so, so, so important that you are using your prompts wisely and you can regenerate your prompts as well. So um, here's the chat.openai.com or this is what the app looks like. You guys can take a screenshot of that. I'm not gonna go through the whole thing, but I want to show you how truly effective and quick chat GPT can be. So what are five ways chat GPT can help someone in direct sales? And these are five ideas that it has for you, like market research, upselling and cross-selling, lead generation. Okay, so that's that's a good one. Um, this particular slide that I did focus on at Shine, it kind of talks about some of the initial prompts that I started using when I was using AI. Um, act as A. Now, you guys can actually ask ChatGBT, act as a business mentor, act as a, um, a top affiliate marketer, act as a, so you're going to ask it to work from the point of view that you're trying to get information from, and then you can always adjust after that. So let me just click through re right here and kind of like... Okay, we're just going to stop that share real quick. I can go back to that if we if we want. Um, but I think I actually stopped my entire screen share, which is not what I wanted to do. It's because I needed to do this. <laughs> okay. So here's another um, chat GPT prompt I put in right before I got on here. Um, and I said, I'm preparing a, um, a presentation on AI tools for uh, affiliates and social salespeople. And then I asked, what do, you, what do you think some of the best ways affiliate marketers can use AI tools and what are some good free ones? So here are a couple of things that AI thinks it's good at helping with, um, creating blogs, high quality content for blogs. Now this is one thing um, you can ask your chat GBT to hone the way, the tone in which it expresses uh, whatever information you're asking it to. So you can actually put in like a couple of paragraphs that you're written and be like, learn, learn this style of communication and then create a blog post about blah, 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 blah um, in that tone. So, so that it really does sound more like you. And then you can keep honing it. You can say things like, make it shorter, make it longer. That's too technical. I need it more. I need it for a more general audience. I need it for a more specific audience. And so I think when we're really working with AI, a big piece of it, that is one of the reasons why it's so effective is because you are literally breaking your problem and your request down so diligently that you're gonna get the answer that you want. And, and like we started talking about before we jumped over here, a problem written down is a problem half solved. So if you are writing down your uh, questions so specifically, <laughs> um, it's really going to help you solve your problem. Um, SEO opti optimization, email marketing, um, AI can personalize e email campaigns. So I could take each one of these. So someone comment what that you don't know what one of these means, or we want to learn more about it. Can I even see your comments? And I think Facebook is just a little behind. So I'm actually just going to select one. So I'm going to say SEO optimization. So I'm going to be like, how do I use AI for, and then I'm going to paste what it says, or what's the what best way to get started? Hang on. What's the best way to get started with AI for SEO optimization? 
identify your goals, choose the right tools, integrate AI tools with your website. So that's something that we at Align have not started doing yet, but it is something I'm trying to learn about. Optimizing your content. See, so you can break it down more and more and more and more because I can go ahead and take where would I start to understand AI and SEO? So this is a really, really good learning tool. Um, and it also really just helps. I mean, I use it all the time. When I was live in here the other day, you guys saw how I was using it. I'm like, give me three points on why a scalp scrub works really well. And then I was like, make it shorter, make it shorter until it fit on my image. Um, I want to show you, hang on just a second. This had something on here that I wanted to talk to you about before I moved on. Okay, as this is it. <laughs> as for, for free AI tools, here are some good options. You guys may want to write some of these down. Google Analytics is a really good one. That's for us. But if you are using like your own personal website and driving traffic there, this is a great tool for you. Google Trends. Canva, I'm going to show you AI on Canva um, and answer the public. That's another one that I used just the other day. And keywords everywhere I have not used before. Okay, do you use AI for the newsletter? I see that on here it can help with MailChimp. I have not been using it unless I've just been dropping topics in here and moving it over. But as we're transitioning our emails to more templates, it's going to be something that's really valuable for you guys. Um, let's see. Okay. I don't think I've, I just saw answer the public this morning. Yeah. Let's check it out. But first I want to show you a couple of other tools that I use. So this is Opus Clip. Jenny, I know you have used this one and I just saw you on here, um, but I want to show this to you guys just because um, what you can do in Opus Clip is you upload a video and the, I had to do it in advance because it takes a minute to, um, to do its work on your video. So I took a video that I had on my phone. You can see it right here. Does everyone see what I'm looking at? Um, this, this on the left here. This is a screen recording I did of my phone for all of you um, on how to put, how to adjust a template in Canva. And um, what this does is it breaks that video down into clips and also captions it. So here's the top one that it pulled. I think the only thing that made me nervous is sometimes if I make a mistake and I know I'm going to edit it, I don't always edit what I'm saying. So just beware. Okay. Everyone, I just wanted to show you how you can go ahead and get a blank image from the ambassador resource drive and add your image to it. So what I'm going to do first is get out of here. <laughs> I am going to go find um, the ambassador. Okay, do you guys see how it has added captions to the video that was sitting there, that was sitting in there? It also, it, it will break it into segments. So the first segment that Opus Clip found from this tutorial that I did was how to customize a blank image using Canva Ambassador Resource Drive tutorial. Okay, so this is everything that it pulled for that first clip. The free version isn't as robust, but it gives you an hour of free with editing that lasts seven days. So I took a bunch of product videos and dumped them in there and edited them right after I signed up. Super helpful. Yes. And you can, you can pay for it. So yeah, it will only give you an hour's worth of video per month, but let's say you just, your goal for March is to make a join video about why you love a line and you also want, it, it's gonna be maybe five minutes long, let's say, but you also wanna be able to pull a clip that you can use on social media. This is a great tool for that. So the other, um, another clip it pulled is create stunning designs with Canva, easy tutorial. Um, it will come with this, can you guys see this watermark that I'm circling as much as I can with my uh, mouse here. <laughs> so when you download it, it will have the Opus clip unless you pay for the upgrade or whatever, right? And I can just download these. 
So I'm going to pick a square because that's the image that I chose. Now you can also do this with, okay, so that's another clip it pulled. Here's another clip it pulled. Now this video was only like three minutes long. Um, so it didn't have a lot to pull from. You can tell this, this is only 18 seconds long, but on and on it goes. And it's going to give you a lot of different options. So if you are, you know, going to make like, one to two videos a month, you want them captioned, you don't want the TikTok talk watermark on them because uh, TikTok does a really good job of adding captions. Um, you will have the Opus clip unless you pay for the upgrade, but that is a, a really great tool. Okay, another tool, oh, I'm gonna put on here, answer the public so that I don't forget. Okay, while that is loading, I am going to show you a couple of ways that Canva uses AI. So um, my brain, I should have had prompts ready and in my head ready to go. But you can say use five words. You When you come into Canva, sometimes this is where I will start. Like I need... a birthday reel for a skincare brand. Let's see what it comes up with. So this magic design, this is AI. This, These are templates that it's coming up for, um, for you. So look, okay, here's like a little, and you can, you can choose if you want any of these, um, so that's one place to start. And I will use those um, frequently if I really just don't know exactly how I want it to look. Like I know I have information I need to put on there, but I don't know exactly how I want it to look. I will use that. Or also, obviously, you always have a million template options. Now, I do have the paid version of Canva. And so I'm not sure. Someone is going to have to tell me if when they're in Canva, they have this. So in Canva, if you go to elements and then it says AI image generator, my siblings and I were having the best time with this the other day. And hang on, I'm going to go back so I can show you. So generate your own. Look, this is a cute anime cat in a forest with flowers. <laughs> So if I clicked that and clicked to generate image, it would come up with it. I will say this image creator is not something that I use very often, um, if at all. So there you go. There's your cute AI cat. But maybe you use some specific things with your branding that you want to put in here. Um, my siblings and I are very off the rails. And so we were trying to generate my brother fighting a kangaroo in Florida with sharp claws. So there's a lot of different ways you can use it. But I would love to hear if someone has some ways that they are using the AI generated content or whatever. Okay, let's go to answer the public. So enter a topic, brand, or product. So I'm going to go ahead and put in um, skincare. Let's say we're going to do skincare ingredients. I used it recently and I do not have the upgrades, so hopefully it will let me. So this is answer the public. And what this is going to do is it is going to, okay, here we are. I accept those cookies. Okay, so this tells you cost per click, which is kind of a Google thing. Sorry. Um, and this will also tell you, like, give you a whole bunch of ideas. Like, why? Why skincare ingredients? What, what ingredient to avoid in skincare? So these are all topics that you, if you are looking to uh, create a blog or you're looking to create a video content, look at all of these topics that you have to draw from 
um, that people are wanting. So as you go further down cost, let's see, search volume 2.0, skincare ingredients, search volume is 2.4 thousand. Does anyone know um, what this number particularly means that has used it? I have not. I don't know for sure. Um, so what skincare ingredient to, to avoid when pregnant? So these are all skincare ingredient questions that people are searching. Now, upgrade to unlock, those are going to be like even better. And you can see here the cost of cost per click is going to tell you a lot about what value that question and that answer is going to give. So this is just a really great way to come up with a lot of content. Um, one thing I showed everyone, um, one thing I showed everyone in chat GPT was like how to create a content uh, plan. Let's see. Jenny said, I saw a guy this morning talking about using these prompts to create blog posts to up your SEO or ability to be found in searches online, which is exactly, yes, I love that. I love that because this, this site, this um, answer the public, it takes what people are searching. So it knows what people are searching for. And if you have an answer to all of them, you are going to be found. So I, I absolutely love that and have created a couple of these um, to start working on short form video for TikTok and Instagram, which is a whole thing that we're trying to figure out. <laughs> um, okay, so this in chat GPT, let me see. I think I might've done this in my presentation for y'all. I do use it for captions, but I typically edit them um, because some people are saying that algorithms can catch AI. Um, and then I heard someone say like, make it so that people can't catch that it's AI and then they don't. If anyone knows the answer to that, let me know. I will say anything with AI is probably very, very likely to um, be Wild Westy. We don't know yet, probably. <laughs> so um, that's a that's one thing to consider. Um, okay, what did I come over here to do? Oh, okay. So I did show in, in my presentation at Shine, I did talk a little bit about um, having it create um, captions. I feel like a lot of, whoops, sorry. I feel like a lot of captions like this are actually starting to be like, not as cool because people know they can just be generated by AI. Um, so I don't ask for, um, emojis as much anymore, or I'll be like, just give me one emoji. Um, and then I'll be like, I need some trending hashtags. Let me show you. Let's just do one really quickly. Okay. So create an Instagram caption for golden under eye masks. Now, one thing I do a lot is I am I want to give um I want to give ChatGPT as much um, information as possible. So I am going to click on Aura over here. And I'm going to be like, here is the product description and key ingredients. It will not let me, okay. There we go. So I'm gonna go back over to ChatGPT and I'm going to be like, here, here is a product description. and ingredients. And then before I push return, you guys can push shift and return to, to go back to give it more information. And I'm gonna say, I need the caption to be three sentences with one emoji, trending hashtags, and information that they are on sale this week. Okay. 
Okay. So this is what it gave me. Transform your daily routine with Aura Golden Eye Masks from Align Your Skin. Infused with powerful ingredients that I can't pronounce, these opulent masks target puffiness, dark circles, and fine lines, leaving your delicate eye area protected and supple. Grab a box of five sets on sale this week for just $20. Okay, let's say I want more hashtags. Let's see, I need more hashtags for that post in paragraph form. One thing, okay, so I'm gonna give it a prompt that um, y'all probably won't use for Instagram, but you should use on YouTube. Uh, YouTube, when you're tagging out a video, you need to have commas in between every hashtag. Okay, I so let me show you how I get those. I need a list of tags for the same product with commas in between for a YouTube video. Okay, I already know I'm gonna want it, I'm gonna say remove the There you go. So see how I just keep refining and keep refining and keep refining until I get what I need. Heidi Blakely said, I remember learning about it at Shine and I never used it. It's another piece of technology that's overwhelming to me. I really do get it. I really do. Um, and one huge thing about using AI anywhere is I try really hard to use it as a starting point because I always want to have the final say. I always want to, you know, have my um, personal touch on it. And look, ChatGPT has learned I use a line just yet, <laughs> right? Like it's literally learning that I do use that tag. Okay. Um, I love chat GPT for so much, especially just manual tasks like this, 100%. I've also used it to write letters to my congressman and Victor uses it for coding. My sisters both use it for coding as well. So I'm going to go ahead and stop my share just for a minute. I kind of, I, I hope I gave you guys some ideas on ways to use chat GPT. Um, you can access my entire presentation in uh, the ambassador resource drive. Um, but I didn't know about Opus Clip when I went last year um, to do that. So that's another one. And Answer the Public is another one that I have not introduced to you guys yet. So we did have someone um, say that they were thinking, oh, I might want to use uh, AI to make my images look better. One one thing I want to caution all of us against, and I'm saying all of us, is we sell skincare. People do not want to see our faces filtered. They do not want to see our faces younger. They want to see the result. We are a product of the product. So um, using a lot of filters, um, filters and, and editing definitely have their time and their place. But um, as a general rule, and especially with AI, and especially with so many editing tools, uh, the style and what people are wanting to consume is a lot more raw. Um, okay, I have dabbled in ChatGPT for some posts. I have to practice things as soon as I learn it for me to get it and retain it. Good. Michelle, go jump on and um, get a couple of post ideas or content schedule based around what you're working towards in March. I love it. I plan to use it for tallying tax write-offs for my business. Love it. Nope, they do not. I have had people ask me if some of the pics are edited. Yes, people, people want real. They want real. And as AI becomes more and more popular, it is going to become even more and more true, which is why I really, really encourage all of you to use AI as your starting point. Um, you know, maybe a prompt that you can put in is, I would like a social media content 
uh, calendar, give it some information about a line, give it some information about the products that you're going to be uh, sharing. You already have your content calendar for March, right? We're doing the abundance bundle the first and second. The third through the ninth is the abundance box. Um, and then we have two full weeks on sensitive set and daily duo, and then um, free gift of renew the last week of the month. So you guys have some stuff in advance that you can start uh, work working on. Christy Mo said, tell it who your audience is. Yes, I love it. Sometimes I will also, you in the prompt, tell it what I'm trying to get people to do. So think about your call to action. Are you trying to get people to follow you other places? Are you trying to, so be like, this is who I, I am, right? Which that's your act as. This is who I'm talking to, your audience. This is what I'm trying to get them to do. Here's the information. Here's how long I want it to be. Here's the tone I want it in. The, and it really, the better your prompt is, the better your information is going to be. Okay, does anyone have any other thoughts, uh, questions on AI? I also know, um, oh, I can't remember. Someone on the marketing and training committee had a couple of uh, things that they wanted to talk about. It's a nightmare for teachers. I'm trying to get kids to use it to generate ideas, a straight up copying, cheating. So this helps me with a line and school. I love it. And I love that you're using it in your classroom. I used to be a teacher as well. And I remember um, there was kind of like a divide amongst the high school teachers, even with cell phones, because like this was a while ago. And um I'm just like, it's here, embrace it. Like we might as well be teaching kids how to work with it uh, rather than just fighting it because we can't fight it. <laughs> okay, any, any other questions? I have been on for a power hour, 30 minutes. I just want to remind you guys again, you can get my full um, AI presentation from last year and, and watch it and look it over. Um, in the Shine folder in our ambassador resources. Um, and I forgot about my question. My The other thing I was going to say, um, okay, Jennifer said, what can we do to prepare for the birthday bash? So there are images in your ambassador resource drive. Let me just show you guys because I'm already on. I, I uploaded them today and tagged them. Oh, they're in the group. So share your screen and this will be let's see okay so in your february folder we have march 1st and 2nd there are all of these images in here that you can use for the birthday bash we have this um valued at over 500 dollars. right we're doing some giveaways so I would be just letting people know that we are holding a brand event. Um, I would make sure that I text all of my uh, people in my database and let them know that we are hosting a huge birthday bash on March 1st. That is this Friday. People are going to be able to check stuff out in there, even if they can't be on right at the time. We are also doing um, a big giveaway mid-month and at the end of month in March, like Jesse went over this morning. And then we also have our abundance bundle that is going to be deeply clearance or for our birthday. So March 1st and 2nd, we have it at 199 um, and then the $246 value. I can't remember how much it typically is. Should we look? So I would be letting people know all about the um, birthday bash and inviting them to the group. Do all of you have the link for the group? Uh, Jen was asking about using the content ideas from Cultivate to Plan March. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Okay, I would have to pull that up. <laughs> um, but if you remember when Brooke was talking about her, let me stop my 
uh, share it and see if I can track down that calendar. But one of the things that I loved the most about Brooke Norland's presentation is she really talked about all of the different ways um, to break down your calendar. If you guys did not watch that, still go and grab her slides. They're posted under her um, presentation. Hang on just a second. Let me pull this up. Um, but one of the things that I liked the most is she really, really talked about um, making sure there's an entertainment value. So really focusing on connections first, as well as, okay, oh, I think all I have, all I have on my um, right here is the, oh, let me show my screen again, is the big calendar. So she starts with a big picture and then zooms in and then zooms in and then zooms in again. So when you are looking at March, this is these are things that she was like, these are dates that she would focus on if she were ambassador at Align. So we are going to be focused on birthday bash here. So she, she starts with this big picture and then she zooms in, zooms in, zooms in. And one of the things she talked about a lot was making sure that there's entertainment value and connection value and personal stories. Um, I will actually drop her slides on uh, this video as well so that it's easy to find. Do you guys have any other questions, comments, issues? I have kept you longer than 30 minutes, but I do have a couple more minutes if you want to chat about anything else while you have me, while you have me live. You guys always have access to me, but. If anyone else is using AI for something that we didn't chat about tonight, this is a great time to drop that as well. Um, I think what I would say about chat GPT, AI, honestly, any new tools is just one thing about being in this industry um, we are a learning industry. Uh, I saw someone that I used to work with in the field put out a really beautiful post. Like, I don't know, I think it was almost two months ago, probably, but they were talking about how one of the things that they love the most about working in social sales and learning how to market themselves is all of the growth and learning they experience. And that is exactly how I view um, AI and all of these things coming down the pipeline, right? We can either be like, oh, I don't know how to use that and be overwhelmed and not want to use them, or we can just start trying. Um, I think you guys will find that a lot of these tools can be really, really valuable in helping you plan your content and helping you, uh, you know, like we were discussing earlier, like up your SEO, like help people find your blog, help people find your social media account. Um, there's a lot of tools out there. I mean, so, so many um, video like we did with Opus AI. There's a lot, Opus, opusclip.ai. Um, there's just a lot, a lot of tools out there that we can use to work smarter and not harder. That doesn't mean there's not a learning curve at the beginning. And it sounds like a lot of you are kind of in that phase. So before I jump off tonight, I just want to challenge all of you to in the next, let's just say actually by the end of the month, by the end of the month, I would love to hear and, and see you guys try one one of these tools and tell me how it goes. Um, Donna said, we've come a long way from presenting at a party. There is so much one step at a time for me. And you know what, Donna, we still need that skill too, right? We need to be able to share a line in person as well. So I just view this as another tool in my tool belt. And I can honestly say, um, in the field, I worked full time for another company for a while. Um, I have done, you know, odd jobs. I have been able to help people do a lot of things in their businesses because of these skills that I have learned. So um, I just love collecting tools and knowledge. And 
if you love that too, then you're going to really start getting excited about this whole world of <laughs> um, artificial intelligence tools. What's our alignment assignment for March? Your alignment assignment is going to be, um, oh, I think I actually made a mistake on that. Oh no, today, this month was landing links, right? Next month is lead capture tools. So probably a lot of you have already done that as well, but we are moving through the cell system really, really slowly um, as a group. And I am picking winners. Look, it's written on my calendar right here for two people who have finished this month's alignment assignment. You do not have to do it in the month to be eligible. As long as your assignment's done, just go ahead and comment on your alignment assignment and I'm going to pick two ambassadors to win. Um, okay. I'm going to let you guys jump off. Thank you so much for being on live with me. Um, or if you're just jumping on uh, watching the replay capture tool, yes, it is the job form done. Yeah. So, uh, Capturing a lead capture tool is a way to capture people's information um, and we have it connected to the database in the cell system. You can always go find um, you can always go find the cell system playlist on YouTube. Christy Mo says, do you remember what it felt like to take your first selfie? Look how far I know. Yeah, so my husband just started making videos for his um, for his business, and he is like, "Oh my gosh, it is so cringe." And I'm like, "I know." <laughs> if you if you knew me in the filter, you knew me when I had my uh, YouTube channel, then you know, like, "Oh my gosh, the videos at the beginning." I went back and watched, and it is so crazy to look at how many things I learned as I was going along. And that is going to continue to be the case. Uh, Sarah says, see, you can't just talk for half an hour either. I know, I know, I know. Look at me still going. <laughs> uh, okay, Lynn, you are welcome. I was going to read it out loud. Thank you, Shanae Worst and Arby. <laughs> That's the mode I get in. Okay, so give me just a second. I've seen Ammon's new stuff and there's no cringing. I know, that's my husband, Am Ammon. And he, no, there is no cringe. Of course, anything he tries, he's stellar at. Um, but that's also always how we feel about other people. So that's another takeaway I would pull from this is if you feel like something is cringe, good. That means you learned something. Try it again tomorrow and then try it again the next day. And we definitely learn by doing. If you are feeling anxious about, um, if you're feeling anxious about trying some of these things, again, I challenge you to take some action and to take one of these tools and use it in your business. I am going to jump off and stop talking, Sarah. Look at me go. Only 15 minutes. <laughs> Thank you guys for joining me live. And I will check back to see if you have any questions about AI that I might be able to answer. Um, I am learning this right alongside you guys. So let's keep learning. Let's keep growing. And let's learn how to use some of these tools so that we're working smarter and not harder. Bye.